And we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, the PlayStation State of Play was also pushed. It was oddly pushed, and it only had 20 minutes of reviews for 10 games. So it was kind, It was real quick. It was real, real sweet. They hit it, and then they drove off. Uh, so in the comments below, let me know if you think that it stood up well to the Nintendo Direct or not. But let's take a look at what they announced. First of all, fighting fans rejoice. Tekken 8 was officially revealed. There's no release date. There's no any information on it as of yet. But the trailer only had PlayStation 5 release, which means it's probably not coming to the PlayStation 4 or last-gen Xbox. Uh, I know that's going to disappoint some people. A lot of games have been holding back on being current-gen only because, you know, with the thing that YouTube won't let me say, the worldwide troubles and supply chain issues... They just I haven't been able to make and sell as many consoles as they want to. But it looks like games in 2023 are finally going to stop having last-gen uh, versions as well. Which is unfortunate. Probably going to have to buy a PlayStation 5. But at some point. Then God of War Ragnarok had a new trailer. And it's got a limited edition DualSense controller. I'm guessing that the controller was the main reason why it was put in here today. But it had new cuts gameplay cinematics. It looked really good. I mean, the guys who make God of War are just passionate, wonderful people. The One of the main guys, as you know, was really nervous on the God of War 4. He was, and he was so happy when he saw the reviews. He, they're just really good people. It's nice to see. Star Wars had Tales from the Galaxy, which is a PlayStation VR 2 game. I don't really like VR games, so I'm not really interested in that. Demio... Which is a cooperative dungeon crawler also for PlayStation's VR 2. Which is, you know, it's kind of cool that you can play that way. But again, the the problem I have with VR is I don't think you have to buy the PlayStation. Then you have to buy the VR set. Then you have to buy the game. The price for admission for what you get, I think, is just not worth it yet. Uh, maybe that'll change. Who knows? Here's a really cool one. Yakuza has an Ishin spinoff game. And it's coming to the West too, guys. It's Feb February is so crowded. I need to take the entire month off. But for the first time in Japan, Like a Dragon Ishin is coming out. It looked bloody amazing and cool. Along with the usual Yakuza style and comedy and action. So it looked really amazing. Hogwarts Legacy is getting a PlayStation exclusive quest. Which... Uh, again, guys, if you saw any of my new stuff, you know that I think PlayStation arguing that exclusivity is bad for gamers and we do not support Call of Duty being bought by Microsoft because of this. And now they're buying exclusive content. And I know that some people are going to point out the truth, which is, yeah, buying exclusive quests or items or stuff is not necessarily as bad as the possibility of a franchise. But Sony has also been holding on to franchises like the Spider-Man games recently and other stuff to be exclusive that are just now getting to come out on PC a long time later. So, look, don't believe these big companies. They, they say whatever they want that suits them at the time. Pacific Drive was something that looked really cool. So, it's kind of post-apocalyptic or something. It was more of a reveal trailer. It didn't have gameplay, story, really anything. It looked like a really cool atmosphere. The inside of the car had all these different, like, dials and, uh, scanny stuff and looked like, a gave me almost, like, Ghostbuster vibes from how they were kidding things out. I don't know. I'll be looking forward to seeing this more. Uh, PlayStation loyalty program was going to come out this month. Sinduality from Bandai Namco. This is the really weird, uh, game. Oh, no, it's, an, I'm not thinking of the wrong thing. So, Sin Duality is announced, and it's a third-person shooter with mechs and an art style similar to Neo Automator, but more colorful. It looked pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of... And I love me some Bandai Namco. They give me the mecha that I love. Project Eve will henceforth be called Stellar Blade and come next year from a Korean studio shift up. And it's got a cool... It, it looks very cool. I'm not sure yet. It's still early enough when they don't even have the season yet announced. You know it's still kind of early. But it looked good. I'll be interested in it. 
Uh, open Samurai game, Rise of the Ronin, was the last thing that we're going to talk about. PlayStation 5 console exclusive, 2024. It ain't coming out anytime soon, guys. But it's a really cool, go cool world. It looks like it's uh, following in more recent Samurai games to just have tons of cool stuff. And you know what? It's not... It's not bad. It's not bad to have more games set there. So, I thought they had some really cool trailers and reviews. I felt like they were trying to sell you merch a little too much to try to... It was half the length of the Nintendo Direct, as well as the fact that, you know, they talked about their loyalty program, and then they crammed in the controller, which I think is the only reason why we got God of War, and then Hogwarts is like, we have exclusive quests, but we don't like exclusivity, it hurts gamers. So this was overall good. Yeah, I don't think it was as strong as the Nintendo one. But you, my opinion is a moot point does not matter. But your opinion matters to me. So put that down in the comments below. Which direct did you like more? Which games are you looking forward to? Which games you're like, why in the hell is this coming out? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time.